What's going on, you guys? This is Andrew Roboto 2021 here, and welcome to Five Nights at Wario's McDonald's 2, where we will be. Where this is the second Five Nights at Wario's McDonald's game in the series, and of course, this game is made by MLS Five Nights at Wario's, and Five Nights at Wario's. The inspiration is by WWW Wario himself, and um, oh, the screen just changed. I didn't know that. As you can tell, it shows McDonald's in the background being destroyed by something. And I believe it takes part from the first game, because in the first game and the ending, McDonald's gets destroyed from a fire. And you can tell it's getting damaged by fire in this one. But anyways, um, I played the first game before. Um, it was fun, but it was hard, though. Like... Knights 5 and 6 were all held of course. But anyways, without further ado, we will start a new game and let's we'll see what has done for us. Yeah, I'm trying to get my mouse to work. I don't know why my mouse... For a second, my mouse didn't show up and I thought my wireless mouse just died or something. The batteries died, but... But it's working, though. Anyways, without further ado, new game. Oh, we got a cutscene of a war. World War LXIX has begun, and there are men rushing and fighting all over in the war. The war. One man named Thomas Taylor was one of them, but he was hungry when entering the area. He decided to leave his things at his base and carefully sneak away without getting caught, and he succeeded. Oh, so we got a we got a war going on here. Okay. Thomas was running, and he, he was hoping no one would find him here alone trying to escape the war. All of a sudden, he found a restaurant and believed he could have some food there. However, the front door was locked. And he found a McDonald's, obviously. He decided to walk over to the back side of the restaurant. Then he found a door that was not locked and decided to enter the door. But as he walked through the door, all of a sudden, the door was slammed shut and locked. He was now trapped in the restaurant with no way of escaping. Night one. All right. And it shows Waluigi spinning on the screen. Nice. Error, night one cannot be loaded. Finding backup file? What's, what's going on? Is that a bug or something? Loading tutorial night. I hope it's not a bug. For a second I thought that was a bug and the game was going to crash, but it just says tutorial night. Okay, so we get a tutorial, so that's cool. Okay, so let's read it. Hang on, i got to adjust the brightness. Welcome to Finance of Warriors McDonald's 2. This is a tutorial night, so nothing happens here. It will just be about learning the mechanics here. Press space bar, continue dialogue. On the very top left of the screen is the night that you are on, and below is that below that is the time you are on. What do you mean you already knew that? Well, of course I already knew that. It's it's fine. It's a Freddy's. It's a fine. It's a Freddy's fan game, so it's gonna have a show the time and the night and time. So of course I already know that. I've played so many of these fan games. And as well as Finance of Freddy's. Alright, next. Anyways, an icon has appeared. This is the burger icon. You can either click on it or press 1 to activate it. Oh, okay. I'll click on it. Once you activate it, you can type burger in order to get up to get a burger. I know, crazy. Go ahead and type it. Um, okay. So I guess I gotta type burger then. Okay, I'll type it. Once you type it in, the counter on the burger icon will go up. This indicates how many burgers you can have. Note, you can only have a maximum of nine burgers at once. Another icon has appeared. It basically functions as the same as the burger icon, but it's fries instead. Same rules apply as burger. 
Same rules as burger applies to fries, but as well, we press 2 instead. Another icon has appeared. Wow, it's your hand. I'm actually going to type in more burgers. Because I need nine burgers, because why not? So let's do it. Because you got to have enough food to sustain yourself. Because Thomas, Thomas Taylor left the war because he was hungry. That's understandable, though, because you are fighting in the war and you're going to, like, wear yourself out just from fighting with a gut. Just because, like, you're out there putting yourself at risk to save others. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to type in fries, too. Forgot to do that. I'm going to type in fries. Can I only have nine fries? I'm going to see if I can. Because I need enough food to sustain myself. Because, because, because Thomas Taylor just fought in a war. And I can imagine how hungry he is. Okay. Wow, it's your hand. <laughs> Alright, if an enemy... Back onto the hand. If an enemy should appear in front of you, then activate the hand and press the, the space bar to give them food. This applies with a counter. Uh, okay, so we're giving them food and not just giving ourselves food. Okay. Another icon has appeared. It's a stick, I guess. Looks more like matches to me than a chopstick. It looks more like matches to me than chopsticks. If a large enemy is in front of you, you just then just hit this, hit it with a stick multiple times by mashing the space bar over and over to keep it asleep. Not sure how that works, but just go along with it. Okay. Also, just a reminder, you can click on the icon to activate it or press the number keys. Press space bar to continue your dialogue. Now go to the closet by clicking on this button or pressing J. Okay, so we're going to the janitor's closet. Okay. This is the generator. Charge it up manually. If it reaches zero, then the power will break and you have to hope you survive or die. Also, if you hear raucous running noises when you are in here, then don't touch the generator until the raucous noise stop. Okay. So that mechanic definitely reminds... This is definitely the same mechanic as in Final Fantasy Warriors 2. We have to constantly recharge the generator. Click on the button to go back to go back. Click on the counter button to go back or press C. Okay. Okay, so that's to recharge the generator. We just click on it. Now we go back to the counter. Alright, last thing to activate the cameras, click on this new icon or press 5. And then press the space bar to pull it up. Okay. Okay, so we have cameras. Click on the buttons to check where the enemies are. Same as usual. Or press the number keys to check the individual cameras. Your location's in the middle of cans 4, 5, 8, and 9. Okay. So the nearest cameras to me are 4, 5, 8, and 9. So if anyone is on those cameras, then that means they're nearby me. Okay, judging by the cameras, um, this is definitely the same, the same McDonald's as in, as in the first game. The difference difference is though we're not in the dining area, we're instead in the um, another part of a building, which is the the office, as well as the which is near the counter and the um, janitor's closet. In the first game, we were in the dining area, and we were near the um, the boiler room, the boiler room, as well as um, the drive, the three drive-through windows. All right, so I'm gonna take a look at the cameras, just kind of browse through. All right, interesting. Sorry, I forgot to raise the volume. I didn't realize it was, it was a little quiet till now. I turned it down because the cutscene was pretty loud. 
All right, that is everything. If you need a reminder of what to do, then load the game on tutorial to come back here. Press start night on the top left to win immediately because no one is here this night and it would be boring. Okay, so night one is a freebie. So we can just... Night one's just a tutorial. We just... And it's a freebie, so we don't have to worry about dealing with night one. There you go. Okay. Cheap, cheap way to beat night one, I guess. <laughs> it's a freebie. It's one of those games where we don't have to deal with anybody. It's just a tutorial just to get... Just to know the mechanics and take the time to explore the place. All right. So now we will start night two, this time for real. This is where the real drama begins. <laughs> so without further ado, we'll take on night two. Let's see how's that for Okay, it's interesting how night one was a tutorial. Still got Waluigi spinning. Okay, and, if, and in case we forget, we can go back to the tutorial. All right, so we have a phone, guys. Phone call, so that's good. Backside was open, yeah. So please, you forgot to lock that door back in. Okay, look, you gotta get out of there now. Well, there are evil ghosts lurking around, and well, look, well, I came here because it was the nearest restaurant to the area of the where the war was happening. The door's locked? Okay, how did the door get locked when we were inside the building? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, but I guess you'll have to stay there because, well, uh, all the police are gone and everything. Because of that war that's going on. And, well, let's get to. Where, where are you? Where are you even at? In front of the counter and hiding in the gun in the closet. Okay, okay. Uh, if I recall, there should be a machine somewhere that would help generate food automatically. It's like a magical, weird. It's a generator, yes. So you can basically type something like burgers or fries on the keyboard and uh, it would uh, make the food for you. Don't know exactly how that works. But it is cold though. But I think maybe that's what a ghost would like. So uh, if someone should appear in front of you, give them a burger and then they will probably leave you alone. And uh, it should be simple as that. But you might want to give it to them quickly. They aren't merciful at all. Also, there is a generator in front of in, in the gener generator's closet that you can charge up. This will be important because if the generator is out, then the whole building will be pitch black. And you can't really do anything about it, but wait for a while. Okay, that should be it. Why are, why are you in there? I'll go see if I can help you get out of there. Alright? Goodbye for now. Alright, thank you. Well... Okay, so let's check the cameras. And we'll check for Wario and his, the gang. Okay, so we're playing as Thomas Taylor, like said in the cutscene, and which Thomas Taylor's familiar. He's the same guy you play as in Final Fantasy Wario's 2, as well as. Oh, there's Wario. Like I was saying, um, you play as Thomas Taylor's the same guy. Night Guard you play as in Final Fantasy Warriors 2, and then you also play as him in Final Fantasy Warriors Trapped Within. So he's familiar. Oh, hang on. I gotta charge the generator, I forgot. Do I give him the burger? Oh god, okay, I'm trying to figure out... You didn't give Wario a burger and he got impatient and attacked. Tip, when they appear in front of you, activate the hand and press space bar. Okay, gotcha. Sorry, I got distracted by the phone call. I was trying to figure out who to give the burger to. Okay, so Wario is one of the characters we have to give a burger to. So we're gonna be dealing with Wario, and I almost and I almost completely forgot about the generator because 
the generator was about to run out. But, we'll, but we got to check on it from time to time, though. So for night one, we're dealing with Wario. And if Wario comes into the room, we have to um, give him a bur either a burger or fries. Okay. Because apparently for the smaller ghosts, we have to give them burger fries. Up oh, there's Waluigi. I assume Waluigi will have... Okay. So I guess when I hear that sound cue, it means they come in the room. Okay. So we press space bar to give Wario a burger. So we press the hand icon to, and then the burger and the fries to give it to Wario. Okay. And I assume Waluigi has the same mechanic. Okay, Waluigi, yes, I was correct. Okay, so Wario and Waluigi have... So we're dealing with Wario and Waluigi for night one. Their mechanic is if we... if For Wario and Waluigi, if they come into the room, then we have to give them either burger or fries. Because they like burgers and fries, apparently. And for the... And for the smaller ghosts, we have to give them burgers and fries. For the larger ghosts and more aggressive ghosts, then we have to um, we have to hit met, hit them with a stick repeatedly. There you go. Okay. I'm getting used to all the mechanics. We just press the hand icon and then give them the burger and fries. Okay, so just like a Final Fantasy Warriors 1, you don't really need to check the cameras. But I was just checking to see who we were dealing with. That's all. Okay, so... Since night 1 was really a tutorial, and night 2 was really the, the night where we were playing it, I'm going to take on night 3 in this video as well. So without further ado, let's do night 3 and let's see how that for us. Okay, why is Luigi in... F What's Luigi doing? And why is there a plane sound? Okay, are we dealing with Luigi for night three? I think we're going to be dealing with him. Okay, so I'll listen to the phone call. Hey, are you still there? Yeah, of course I am. Thank you for not starting the generator. That's good. I'm glad you can call me. Uh, I should tell you something about the vents. Uh, the vents? Uh, I've seen an employee attempt to get up there one time, and they just about uh, fit perfectly in there. But what the point is I'm trying to make here is that someone can be up there. So uh, try to keep a close eye on what's above you. Okay, the vents. Is it in the janitor's closet that this thing right here? Maybe one of them can try to get to you. And, uh, well, I think the thing you should do when they're up there is to give them fries because. Okay. If you throw a burger, I don't think that would work because the pieces would fly all around. Okay, so. so uh, that should be it for now. Good night, and I'll keep on trying to find you a way out there. Okay, so apparently, um,. We have to, whoever's coming through the vent, we have to, we have to give them, um, fries. And I assume they're going to be coming from the vent in the janitor's closet. Which I don't know who we're dealing with from the Ven, but whoever's coming from the Ven, we have to give them fries. Okay, so we didn't have to use. F oh! Gotta give Wario the burger. Okay, so we didn't have to use fries for night one. We just had to give burgers to Wario and Waluigi, because they love burgers. Okay, so. 
Got to make sure we have enough. So, yeah. Up, oh, Peach. Okay, oops. You didn't give Peach fries, and she got impatient and attacked. Okay, so we're dealing with Peach for night three, and for Peach... So apparently Peach will come through the vent from the hallway, not in the janitor's closet. Okay. I don't know who we're going to be dealing with the janitor's closet, but at some point we're going to hear noise in there, and we have to stop charging the generator if we hear noise coming from the janitor's closet. Okay, so, so for Peach, if she comes through the vent, if she crawls through the vent, then we have to give her fries. Gotcha. Because Peach loves fries. Wario and Waluigi love burgers. And I wonder if we're dealing with Luigi on night two as well, because Luigi was in the cutscene. And then I wonder when we're going to deal with Mario. Okay, so apparently... I'm going to be honest, I actually thought Mario and Luigi were going to be the ones going through the vent. Because they, they are small enough to fit through the vent. I didn't think Peach would be... I didn't think Peach would fit through the... Could be small enough to fit through the vent. Because Peach is tall. Mario and Luigi are short. And so is um Wario. Waluigi and Peach are the ones that are tall. Like, how can Peach fit through the vent? Oh, got to give them both the burgers. There you go. Got to give both Wario and Waluigi the burgers because they just double teamed me. Because they're hungry for more. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Peach makes the sound cue of going through the vent, not just Wario and Waluigi. Okay. Like, how can Peach fit through the vent? She's tall. I mean, I know Wario can't fit through the vent because he's fat. Waluigi... I didn't think Peach could fit through the vent. Peach and Waluigi are tall. I thought it was going to be Mario and Luigi because Mario and Luigi are short. Ah, damn it. I, I couldn't give them the burger in time. Because I got double teamed by Wario and Peach and I couldn't give it to them in time. Okay, so I'm going to be getting double teamed this night apparently. Because as the night progresses, not only do they move faster, but Wario, Waluigi, and Peach are going to be getting more hungry. And they won't stop eating, demanding me for burgers and fries. Okay, so I got to give them burgers and fries, obviously. Okay, let me charge the generator. Because the generator goes down fast for this night. Or in this game, sorry. And now I gotta do my typing skills to get more burgers and fries. Oh! Waluigi! There you go. Generator. Oh! Wario! Is Peach coming? Nope, I don't see them. Up. Oh. Waluigi. Deal the generator. Peach I haven't seen yet, but she'll come eventually. Up, oh, Peach. There you go. Timing is what's required for the food. There you go. Alright, so now I have an understanding of the mechanics. Oh, there you go. It's just being double teamed by them is going to be the tricky part. Oh, got to give Waluigi a burger. There we go. Get to the generator. Okay. 
Okay, your footsteps. That's Peach. I think that's Peach. Oh! There we go. We gave it to them both. Okay. Thank God, because I thought I had to give it to them one at a time, because I was getting double teamed by Wario and Peach. We're good, though. And we beat Knight 3. There we go. Okay, so it was a little bit trick. Knights 2 and 3 were a little bit tricky getting used to the mechanics, but... But we figured it out, though, so it's all taken care of. So now I understand the mechanics. All right, so anyways, we will take on Knights 4, Knight 4 in the next video, and maybe Knight 5 as well if I have time to. But, yeah, otherwise we'll take on Knights 4 and 5 in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also, be sure to comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. Be sure to follow me on TikTok. And be sure to hit the bell on that channel as well to get all notifications of upcoming videos. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.